today we are going to learn library class our chapter name is using library class we have two library class that we will learn in class 10 math library class and string library class math library class already we have done in previous videos today we will learn string library class so string class we will start we know how to take string value string is suppose this is the variable within double quotation anything we can write that will be a string or using a scanner class also we can take input sc dot next line or next simple and using buffer reader also br dot read line or read we can take input as string that first inbuilt function we will learn that is length function okay under string class so what is the use of length function it is used to get the length of a string so argument will be null this is called argument in inside parenthesis and return type will be integer type so how we will, we will write we will write int a suppose a is the variable equals to s dot length suppose we have a, uh, input or we have a uh, string value s equals to computer so what will be the answer of a s dot length answer will be 8 why because you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 characters are there that's why it is 8 similarly hello world it will be 11 1 2 3 4 5 space is also a character 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay like that we can get the length of a string next one that is caret in scanner class we have done this caret of function again i am explaining uh, to take input uh, a character in scanner class we use caret 0 so what is caret it is used to get the particular character from a particular index position this is the index position so in, in argument will be int item type will be char so how we will write char c equals to s dot caret some integer value okay so now suppose we have a correct uh, string s computer so caret 2 second position index position first of all index position starts from 0 that means our computer will start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 its length is 8 but in this position starts from 0 up to 7 so 8 minus 1 so what will be the second position which character is present m is present in second position so answer will be m similarly for hello world 5 s dot caret 5 so fifth position hello world 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 is space so it is space suppose anyone is writing um, s dot caret here 8 instead of 2 8 for computer so what will happen you see 8 position is not there so it will return an exception error runtime exception error that error will be called index out of bound exception again i am repeating it will be index out of bound the index position is not there that's why index out of bound boundary out of boundary it is so it is index out of bound exception that is our caret function next is index of we have four different parts under index of function first one is care simple care index of argument is care written type int that means particular character is present in which index it gives us that result suppose we have in, in uh, string s equals to computer application so s dot index of p int a index of p that p is present in which index position first p so you see 0 1 2 3 third position so answer will be 3 c is uh, present in which index position you see first position that is 0 so answer will be 0 so it, it gives us it returns us the index position of a particular character first index position if anyone is giving suppose here z so z is not present here it will not return any value okay it will give you blank answer blank result null that is called Another one is index of caret int, char and int. That means argument will be character and integer. Return type always integer. What is that? That means a particular character is present in which index starts from this int position, index position. That means if we write s dot index of p comma 5 from fifth position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From this position, first p is present where? 
in the right side. So this, 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 this one is the first P from this position, starts from T. This is the first T and the position value is 10. If you will calculate, it will be 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, C, 2 from second position, C is present where? Here. It is the 14th position. That is index of char, int. Another one index of string. A particular string is present or not and if it is, if it is present from which index position it starts, it returns that. Java for school for ICSS. Suppose in string S is this one. Then Java. Index of, index of Java. Where is Java? Java is here. Index position starts from 0. So answer will be 0. It returns only the first index position from where that word starts. That string starts. For, for here, that is 5. Whole, this is H. 11th position. Okay. Similar like that char and int. Here we have string int. That means particular string starts from which position? Starting with some index position. So we can give string comma int s dot index of 4, 5. So for here it is, but fifth position, the sixth position, suppose it is 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means from here, from this position you start checking for. So here 4 is not there, here also not there, here it is, starts from here. That is the position, 16th position. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, this is 16. That is index of string comma int. Next function, that is last index of, it returns the last index of any string or any character, either character or string. Both uh, example I will give, string s equals to computer, so s dot last index of t, so last index of t starts from here, La left, right side you check t, so that t is present last, so fifth position. Computer application, o, last index of o, this is the last index of o. Because here is also there, but it is first index. So last index of O. It is 18th position. Similarly for string, Java for school for CISCE. So S dot last index of 4. This is the last index of 4. Last 4. So 16. This is 16th position. SC. Here is C. Here also we have SC. Here also SC. But we will take last one. SC to 22nd. That is our last index of Okay, next one. Next function is compare to. Compare to, it is used to compare two strings and returns the subtraction between two strings and return the integer value, either minus or plus or zero. Let's see how it works. S1 is hello, S2 is hi, and S3 is world. Hello, hi, world. Three strings we are having. If we write int a equals to s1 dot compare to s3, that means hello and world. We are comparing these two, hello and world. Now you see, we will check the first uh, index positions and we will check wh which index position is not matching. Here you see, it is not matching. First one, it is h, it is w, both are different. So we will not consider other words, other characters we will not see. We will see only these two, h and w. And we will find the ASCII value of h and w, h is 72 and W is 87 because capital A starts from 65. Now we will subtract this one, so minus 15. So answer will be minus 15. This means this answer will be minus 15, it will come. If you will print A, answer will be minus 15. Similarly, just opposite, S3 dot compared to S1, just opposite, world will come here, hello will come here. That means W index position of, um, the ASCII value of W is 87, H is 72, minus will be 15 it will be plus 15. It will return only 15. Similarly, int c equals to s1 dot compared to s2. s1 is what? Hello. s2 is what? Hi. Now you see h and h first positions matching. So we will not consider that. Next index position e and i. It is not matching. So we will take the value of e 69 i 73 minus 4. We will subtract minus 4 answer will be minus 4. But if we have same strings, suppose s2 dot compared to h1, so what will happen? s2 is high, uh, is, this is high, both are same. So both are same, answer will be 0. That is our 
compare two. Okay, so that is our first part of this video. Second part we will do next more functions.